Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back again to another episode of All The Mods 8. So what we are gonna do today is we are gonna finish our quest line to obtain the special seeds that we need in order to craft some Aldemodium, Vibranium, and Unobtonium. So let's get going. So in between episodes, I created this area for my computer. As you can see, I removed it here and then transferred here. Transferred it right here above. I placed some elevator in order to get up here in our computer system. And then I also created a underground below in order to place our machines for us to have an automation. In order to place some recipe, uh, craft it on our computer, and it will give us the item that we requested. So, so we are gonna do that uh, maybe in the later episode. I just made this room because it's pretty. And we are gonna focus on making the seeds themselves. As you can see, I created a compacting drawer. I still have this oak drawer right here. But what I'm gonna do is gonna replace it with a compacting drawer because once we um, upgrade our essences, using the blocks themselves is much faster than crafting it um, by using the essences. So I'll give you a sample. If I take uh, a stack of Inferium blocks, and take our essence, no, not essence, our infusion stone. We're gonna do this by the essences, we're gonna place it four, four by four, and we're gonna only out output four of them. But if we use the blocks themselves, one block uh, is equi equivalent of nine essences, so nine, eighteen, and seven, thirty-six. So we're gonna infuse thirty-six of them. All in one go. There you go. So let me gather up some more inferior blocks. Uh, maybe a couple more, three more. There you go. And then place it right inside our system. Then place it right there. And then infusion. There you go. Craft everything that we have into the block and then use the blocks to upgrade it to another tier and then use this to upgrade more and then upgrade more and more there you go so we have one insanium block we need um for a 12, we need 12 blocks in order to craft all of the seeds. So let me convert all of them, convert my inferior blocks that we have into the highest tier possible, and I'll be right back. Okay, so it looks like I can only make two insanium blocks out of all the essences that we have. and it looks like I need to create more of them. Uh, what I can do is I can extend our um, garden here. It looks like I need to make more of the garden plush in order to cope up and make the process faster. Actually, that is very easy. We have a ton of creosote right here and then I can also create some components I can create nine I can create more so it needs some paper and some glass 
There you go, and then some glass. Yep. I can just place everything here. And then craft three of them. Do I have any glass left? Oops. I have 40 clear glass. Can I use that to create a cloche? Yep, I can use that. Nine of them. So I can extend this nine more. There you go. So I need another one. There you go. So what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna extend uh all of them up until we reach this point. So we need uh one, two, three. So we need three more rows to have this set up properly. So yeah, I'm gonna do that um, off cam, and I'll be right back. All right, so here we here we go. I created uh, two, four, six, six layers of garden cloche, and then have them routed into our compacting drawer right here so we have a total of 60 guarding plush in total i think this is enough in order to keep up with our production of imperium essence i know this is not the most efficient way to do this or we can just make a normal farm and then uh, upgrade the tiers of our farmland but i guess this is okay this is good so uh if i can see here it will generate total of uh 60 times 120 per three minutes if i'm correct if i do the math correctly uh there you go so our essences will be filling up here very quickly so I'll not wait for uh, hours for it to fill up. I can also see here that we need to create a, a productive bee in order to have or farm the all the modium stuff. So we need to get into bees, productive bees here. I not yet um looked into this mod, and I haven't played with it ever since. Ever since I started playing uh modded Minecraft, but it looks like it's just the same with um mystical agriculture, but this. Uh, is used by playing with bees. I don't know if I'm gonna start with this or not. But in order to create the all the mod star, we need to uh, create this. If you notice, guys, my reactor is not currently on because I have a uh, 61 million Fe in our energy cube and it. We are currently not using it, that's why it's powered off, and I don't want to waste my uranium here. We have a couple of stacks left, so it's not wise to leave it on, and then once everything is full, it will just waste all the fuel that we have. One thing that I want to look into is uh, this quarry plus. There you go. In order to create the quarry, we need to create first the workbench. And then I believe it needs some power. Yep, it needs some power. There you go. So let's try creating this. Uh, let me create the workbench. We have all the things. No. I need three of them. Two of the gold. 
then one block of diamond then i believe that's everything there you go let's try to place it right here for the meantime all right in order to create this quarry plus we need 32 diamond 32 gold 64 iron 16 uh redstone dust and ender pearl if i can remember it correctly we need diamond and then we need some gold i believe 32 of them yep iron 64 and then redstone how many redstone do we need oh i'm currently out of redstone 16 i hope this is enough there you go 16 and some ender pearls Four of them there you go so currently have ender pearls that's the last ender pearl that i have maybe i need to farm more of those there you go so two things that we need to have is a mining well and a quarry plus i'll choose the quarry plus so it will take some time in order to craft it. So it needs 320,000 FE. Uh, we have more than enough. So I'll just uh, run this here in my background. And we are gonna check if we have the means of having an automation for our applied energies here we go so in order to start with auto crafting we need to uh, have or create this me pattern provider and then we need to have a a pattern access terminal there you go so we need two of them in order to create the uh, pattern access terminal two of the pattern provider is that is correct uh let me try to create it do i have all the materials yep i have them oh that's my last one uh let me create this first quartz glass need those there you go and then craft it and i can place it um believe right over here let me get my glass cable there you go and also i created another me drive as you can see i have four four key item storage cell because all of these are full so i created that okay so next in the quest line should be getting the rewards and then uh let me see we can go into crafting the patterns right here we need the encoding terminal and then a blank pattern coding terminal we need the crafting terminal we have we need the emmy terminal we need this uh i have those Formation core, there you go. Craft this first, then craft this, and then that. There you go. Let me get my glass cable again. Place it right over here. There you go. And then we need to create a blank pattern. I need some glass. Uh, do I have any sand? Yep, I do. Let me get over here in our mechanism station. Then smelt some sand. To we'll create 24, 64. Uh, that is more than enough. There you go. So quartz glass. Let me create a couple of these. Then blank pattern. There you go. So we can place the blank pattern right here. 
And then, um, once we, uh, for example, we want to create some sticks, we can just uh, place the crafting recipe here and the output should be sticks and then we can encode the pattern. There you go. So we can uh, place this uh, crafting pattern in this pattern provider. There you go. So this pattern cra uh, provider, let me place it right over here. This accepts the patterns of the item. So for example, if we ha if we don't have sticks, uh, there you go. If we don't have sticks in our uh, computer, we can craft it. If we want to have 10 sticks, we can just click next. There you go. But in order to uh, do this crafting, we need to have a, a crafting processor and co-processor, if I'm not mistaken. There you go. So we need to create some crafting so storage and some uh, crafting uh, processor. Here we go. Co-processor and uh, we don't totally need a crafting monitor. It just show you uh, what the items they are crafting. So we need first this crafting storage. Uh, we can create a 1K storage. Let me see if I can do that. Uh, let me just place it right here. There you go. So I need a 1K ME storage component. And then a crafting unit. Uh, there you go. Right. So we have our crafting unit right here. We can just place it right there. And then we need to create the... Did I create the crafting storage? No, I haven't created it yet. Uh, let me just remove this. Oops, I broke my glass. My bad. So we need to create this. There you go. That's why it's not functioning properly. There you go. And then we are going to create this crafting processor. Right, uh, where is it? Uh, crafting processor, co processor, rather. There you go. Co processor needs one more crafting unit and then some engineering processor. We have those, and we need to place it uh, right over here, and the crafting storage will be right here. There you go. So that is online. So once we um, order some sticks, need 10 of those, we can start it. Then our crafting processor or, and crafting storage will make the sticks. So guys, I made a mistake. I thought I was recording, but it is not. And I've made this um applied energy six stuffs and i haven't shown it to you and have and don't have it on record but let me just um go back here let me tell me what i did so i crafted a crafting storage here and coprocessor unit and some uh what is this called pattern provider and molecular assembler so what this does is it will have our computer a auto crafting as you can see here we have an encoding terminal this is where you place um your crafting recipe for example if i want to have an acacia planks or some random planks i just need to place a, a log right here and then uh, click on this encode pattern. There we go. And what we can do with this 
uh, crafting pattern is we can place it right here in our pattern provider or we can use this access terminal to place it here there you go so as you can see i crafted a uh, different sets of uh, crafting recipe for example if we uh, want to have some sticks uh, it will use some planks uh, i made a mistake here this should be uh, substitute enable so if we don't have any acacia planks it will just use any other planks that it needs uh, yes there you go so let me see here if i don't have any planks i have a lot of them let me remove everything there you go and some sticks there you go in order to craft some sticks uh, our system will craft the birch planks because we have a recipe for the planks themselves and then it will use any any kind of log that we have because our substitute is on so once we click start it will craft them and it will give us sticks there you go the other things that i crafted here is some crafting patterns some um molecular assembler crafting table and some cores and also added this uh crafting storage and the co-processing unit so basically this what this thing does is it will um, help process the uh, crafting that we are gonna do so this 1k crafting storage and co-processing unit will help process the crafting that we're gonna do on the machines uh, one example that I can do is if we uh, do, I, do I have a recipe for a pattern provider I don't have let me place that here uh, we need those. I believe we have those cores. There you go. So craft it. Then place it right over here in our molecular assembler. So let us uh, request some ME pattern provider. There you go. Only one. There you go. So we, what we can do here is we can place it. Let me replace this. We can place it right here. And then let me get my furnace okay so I've been playing with this uh, pattern provider here first I placed a furnace uh, right above it however it's not working so in order for it to work we need to place a machine here that we can configure the input and the output because um once you requested something this pattern provider will store the items that it's gonna create for example if we requested some glass in our system it will take the sand and then it will find any a storage where it can place it now if we use a normal furnace on it uh, we cannot configure that uh, normal furnace to have an input on the bottom side. Uh, by using this uh, basic smelting factory, we can configure it to uh, input the items and also output it on the same side. Now, once the pattern provider sends the sand into this basic smelting factory, it will place the sand right above here and then once it's finished um the configuration will eject the output on the bottom so i'll give you an example um if we requested let's say five glass there you go so our uh, computer will send the recipe here the items the five um sand and then this basic smelting factory will receive it and once it's finished it will output here on the blue and then it will be routed back to our system there you go so we have five glasses so that is the basics of 
this crafting i hope you understand guys even though if i haven't explained it uh, completely maybe i'll make a tutorial on how uh this works but this is the basics of it you can see the pattern will go in our pattern provider uh this molecular assembler will handing all the crafting uh the normal crafting like the uh, crafting terminal that we have here and this pattern provider will handle all the smelting that we're gonna do uh maybe next episode or next time i will create a, a pattern uh process automated process for our um for our processors there you go so uh we need a couple of inscribers i only have four i believe four is enough if i'm not mistaken uh three for the uh processors no we need five one for the silicon and one for another output there you go all right so i guess that's it everyone this is just a quick episode so what we did today is we upgraded our inferior essence farm because it's not keeping up with the production we're not uh gaining a lot of inferior essences so i added some garden cloche right over there and then also we have an introduction here on uh, automated crafting for applied energistic this is just a basic one i i haven't had any opportunity to have a full uh full automated system for our crafting because it needs a lot of resources in order for it to run and also a lot of space i don't know if this space is enough for every machines that we're gonna create and we'll also gonna create some more co-processor and crafting unit in order to keep up with our production so i guess that's it everyone maybe in the next episode we're gonna uh finish uh building our quarry uh, we left it right over there on top of our bigger reactor to have it charged and then we're gonna fully automate everything uh we're gonna set up our processor crafting and also some other ingredients and increase our patterns to have everything automated so i guess that's it everyone thank you guys for watching and hope you have a great day ahead